Hey y'all, welcome to Sweet Tea and Butterflies. Today we are doing the Just Our Imagination Challenge for May. Um, this is a collaborative challenge that we use challenge items. And we have um, our host is Rustic and Lace DIY, Kathy Jo DIY, and Craft Classy is our guest host. So our guidelines are we had to use a ribbon spool, a gift bag, and we had to recreate one of Brenda's um, previous projects. This is her birthday month, so we're giving a shout out for a happy birthday. So this is the project that I did, um, that I recreated of Brenda's and I will leave the link to her video for her project in the description box. I got this little, um, I think it's ceramic. It's, it's a pretty hefty um, piece. The little basket there um, was part of that craft haul that I got um, a bunch of free craft supplies from. So when I was going back and trying to figure out what I wanted to um, watching Brenda's videos to figure out what I wanted to recreate of hers when I saw the the one where she used something similar I was like oh wait a minute I just got something I can use for that so that's what I'm doing here um, it's kind of a light celery green color and um, I'm using a mix of purples and greens for the florals in there. I had taken, um, I couldn't find my floral foam, but I had some little pieces where I had used some of the foam insulation and I took those little pieces and glued them down in there to, to use as floral foam. That's what I created them for anyway. Um, so, and then covered it with some floral moss, and I'm inserting the, you know, different flowers and stuff to kind of create a cute little um, floral basket there. I really, really fell in love with this when I made it, so I don't know if I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to sell it. I haven't decided yet. But anyway i'd like to say thank you to all of our subscribers uh, that follow us on youtube and if you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell and choose how you want to be notified uh, when i reach a thousand subscribers i'm doing a giveaway of some of those free craft supplies that i got and if you want to see um, if you want to see the, the video of the different um, stuff that I got, uh, the haul, it's in, uh, I have a video, I believe, in my, um, in the YouTube community tab. But when I hit a thousand subscribers, we're doing a giveaway. I might do more than one, but we're definitely doing one. So... I've got um, some little lavender picks here, put a couple of those in, and then tied a bow on each side of the handle of this little basket. You get to watch me struggle with the whole uh, bow thing there. The type of bow that I created. Um, it's basically a shoestring bow and I really struggle with doing it in the right direction where my tails go where I need them to. Um, it, it's just natural for me to try to wrap this one way and I just couldn't, I could not wrap my brain around doing it the other way. I finally got it. It took me a minute, but, um, yeah, <laughs> it was uh, an interesting endeavor there. I finally got them, you know, done correctly. 
Yeah, see, you can see I'm struggling. <laughs> <coughs> I would also like to invite y'all to um, follow us on social media. We are on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, and we have our own um, crafty community page on our website. I'll leave all the links to that in the description box below as well. You'll find um, also in the description box, you'll find each of the, the hosts. Uh, links for their channel, the playlist, and again, Brenda's video uh, for her project that I uh, recreated. And here I'm just trying to get my my tails uh, dovetailing the, the tails of the ribbon and just kind of I float some fire along there um, so that it they don't fray. But I really, I really, I think this one's my favorite project out of all of it. Um, I had really didn't. I, I mean, I didn't have a 100% vision or idea when I started on it. I knew the flowers I was going to use, but didn't know what order I was going to put them in or how I was going to put them in there, but um, I, I really fell in love with this one. And my favorite color is purple, so, you know, of course, the purple is going to trump everything else, right? But here, I'm, again, struggling a little bit with it. Not as much as I did the first time. <laughs> Me and the bows in this, this uh, particular video did not get along. Um, there are some days that I can do the bows no problem. Other days I'm just like, I'm just not there. That was this one. I had the same issue with the second project um, with the bow and the more I look at it, the more I don't like it. So I will probably go back and redo the bow on that one. So here is DIY number two. We had to use a gift bag. So I got, I, I, I have a ton of Christmas gift bags, but I was not doing a Christmas video. So I went looking for a gift bag and um, I liked this one well enough. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. But it's got a lot of pretty um, spring and summer like uh, print on it with the flowers and the dragonflies. Um, so I just took and I got one of those little canvases or while well, it's not little, decent size um, canvas from Dollar Tree and that's what I put the bag on. And you'll see here in a minute that the bag is just a hair too short for the canvas, but I found a workaround for that. In this particular bag, the, the front of it had you can't see it in the video, but the front of it did have like some glittery on the flowers and stuff like that. I guess you can kind of see a little bit in there, but on the side of the bag where the fold is, there wasn't any glitter. So I had to go back and put some glittery on there too. I did that after I would gotten it on, on the um, canvas. So I just took some Mod Podge and I should have started at the bottom. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I should have started at the bottom because the bottom's where I needed to get it lined up. But it worked out. I got it on there. Um, which I don't know why I showed you me doing all of the, the Mod Podge on there. And for some reason, my camera does not like the, the white. It keeps trying to 
focus and it ends up being unfocused in areas, so I apologize for that. I think it does it more here in a minute when I'm trying to trying to get the bottom part mod podged. But I just took and smoothed it out the best I could and I probably should have taken and tried to iron the bag to get rid of those creases before I started. But I wasn't thinking about it. Um, but once I got the Mod Podge on there, um, I went back in off camera, used my iron to smooth it out some. So here I'm just applying, and, and I did a pretty thick coat of Mod Podge because the, the bag is a thicker paper. So we just, I, I just took in and put a bunch of Mod Podge on there, smoothed it out. Like I said, off camera, I took my, my iron with some parchment paper over and smoothed it out a little bit more. I still didn't 100% get rid of those creases, but it was it, it improved a little bit. And I had to go back and make sure that all around the edges were, were um, that I had enough Mod Podge and whatnot because that edge wasn't sticking down. Had a couple spots like that. I just went and touched it up, added some more Mod Podge, smoothed it down. But yeah, I, I have a bunch of Christmas gift bags and a thousand ideas for those, but this one for some reason kind of threw me for a loop because I don't know. <laughs> The Christmas ones seem to have scenes and stuff on them that I can like put in a, a, a frame and you know create like what looks like a picture versus um, something like this. So I don't know why it gave me such a challenge, but it did give me a little bit of a challenge to come up with an idea for it. Am I a hundred percent happy with it? Mm, no, nah, like I said, I need to redo the bow on it. I'm not happy with the bow. I struggled with the bows. So I just took um, some of these florals. Uh, I think I think the pink and yellow ones are tweedles. And I don't remember what the what I'm what these are that I'm cutting now. Um, these are kind of a sagey green, a light sagey green, and then these are Gerber daisies. In the purple, I just kind of tried to incorporate some of the colors in the that were in the bag um, in my florals. So I got those all figured out, you know, how I wanted to do them, zip tied them to make sure that they all stayed in place. Um, I prefer using zip ties when I'm doing stuff like this because I can get it really tight versus trying to tie with twine or ribbon or anything like that. So I used some zip ties on here. Got them all um, secured really good. And then I wrapped it, wrapped the, the whole thing right there with twine after I cut those off so that you didn't see all the stems and whatnot. I'm just going to let you watch for a minute. And speaking of Brenda and her birthday month, um, she had a goal of trying to reach 20,000, I think it's 20,000 subscribers um, by her birthday. She missed it by a hair. She, I don't think she's quite made it yet. So if you're not a subscriber, um, if you're not one of Brenda's subscribers, uh, I invite you to go check out her channel. 
and you know subscribe help her reach that goal and I also want to give a shout out to all the mothers out there um, seeing as this video is coming out on Mother's Day happy Mother's Day to, to all you mothers um, it's a challenging job but a very rewarding job and later uh, this evening probably about the time that this video comes out I will be um, joining my four boys for dinner for Mother's Day um, my my kids are they're a crazy bunch they they love to challenge me <laughs> they love to pick on me if they didn't pick on me I would think they were mad at me so that being said <laughs> I was hoping that yesterday I was going to get to watch my youngest son. Um, he had a singing contest that he had entered into. And um, yesterday was supposed to be the finals for it. He woke up with no voice yesterday. So I guess we'll have to wait and see for the next one. He really is a phenomenal singer and um, I just absolutely love every opportunity I get to hear him sing. He prefers doing, you know, doing a lot of the, the crooner type stuff. Um, one of my favorites that he does is My Way by Frank Sinatra. And he just knocks it out of the park every time. So, but anyway, I've got, I actually have some talented boys. Um, all four of them can sing. My second oldest plays bass and guitar, um, and he's really good. He um, just picked up his brother's guitar one day and, and turned on a, he, he was into a Three Days Grace um, thing when he was about 15, 16 years old, and he just, he started playing playing by ear. I think that album had been out a week um, and he just within three days he was playing all of the songs on the album. I was like totally blown away. So I am very blessed to have some very talented children. Um, I'd like to see I'd like to see them go somewhere with you know or at least the youngest. Um, my second oldest that plays the guitar, he uh, he's going to school for software engineering, so. But I'd like to see him get back into enjoying his music some too, even if he doesn't necessarily make a career out of it. But anyway, enough about my kids. It is Mother's Day, so, you know, I gotta get all sappy a little bit. <laughs> So here I'm struggling with that bow um, and like I said I've decided that the more I look at it the more I don't like it so I'll probably redo and replace the bow on this particular project. But yeah it's uh, <laughs> and I, I, I just I don't know what I was I was just struggling. I was on the struggle bus with the bows today. But that's okay. We all have those days. There's nothing that can't be redone. Um, so, yeah, I can take that bow off and add another one. I just did a bunch of loops. And then um, one big loop at the bottom where I can cut it in half to make my tails. I think in the end, I think this was just the wrong style bow to put on there. And honestly, I probably didn't put enough loops on that bow. And then uh, I realized a little, uh, I realized after I attached it to the, um, the, 
wall hanging there that um, I didn't wrap the middle to hide that zip tie. So I had to go back and try to do that after I glued it on. It was, it was a struggle, y'all. <laughs> we all have those days though, right? Honestly, I think if I had left the bow like this instead of trying to fan it out and fluff it out, it probably would have been okay. But um, I went and tried to fan it out and fluff it out, and it just, it looks kind of wonky. And here's where I'm trying to cover up that zip tie in the middle after the fact. Just took a little piece of the ribbon, folded it in half, and wrapped it through there to hide that zip tie. You couldn't really see it if you were looking, you know, like if it's hanging on a wall and you're looking at it, you couldn't really see the zip tie, but I like my projects to look finished, and if you caught it from a upper angle or a lower angle you could see the zip tie so I just had to uh, go in and finish that up. I just glued and tucked it in there and then snipped off the excess. But I used the uh, I used the handle to the bag for the hanger and as you can see I used some twine and wrapped it around the top. Um, and that helped cover up that white space from where the bag just barely didn't meet up with it. Um, originally I had thought the flowers would cover it well enough, but I didn't want to take any chances. So I wrapped some twine around there too, just to make sure. But yeah, here's where I fluffed the bow. And I think part of the problem was that I didn't have my loops evenly sized on each side. Um, I had a really busy week, so I was actually doing all of these projects yesterday, trying to cram them all in at one time. And I realized, you know, I didn't have time to go in and recreate the bow. So, anywho, enough about my wonky bow. For the most part, though, I, other than that, I think the, this one turned out kind of cute, too. I think once I uh, fix that or replace the bow with a different style, I think it'll be really super cute. Fluffed some of the flowers, you know, bent them to the, the front where you could see them. Um, sticking out the side doesn't really work. You want to see the flat, you know, the blooms of the flowers. So here we are on to DIY number three. This is where we use the ribbon spool and I don't know what happened to the first part of the footage. Um, I took some popsicle sticks and I wish I had been able to find a ribbon spool that had a narrower middle to it. Um, I was just totally stumped on what to do with, with this, but I took and I decided I was going to make, um, kind of a, like a spool, um, riser for tear trays. You never have too many risers, um, when you're having to display stuff. Um, we do craft shows and we have a booth at the Painted Tree. So we actually have a shelf, it's not a full booth. So it's um, important to have different items in there that, that um, 
where you can put stuff on them and, and have them at different heights and whatnot. Um, you don't want to display everything sitting all on one level. You want to add some dimension and depth in there. So you can never have too many risers. So that's what I went with. It took about 20 and a half popsicle sticks for this. Um, to put around the middle of this and I just used some wood glue and as you can see there I cut down all the popsicle sticks you can see all the leftovers on the mat there <clears throat> but the um, I went all the way around and once I I got all the way in there I had a space there that was too small for a full popsicle stick so I cut one in half and put it in there. So there's that one and then you can see there the, the little space in there so I just cut one of those in half. Use my miter shears to do it. These miter shears are a game changer um, for smaller things that you need to cut, like popsicle sticks and stuff like that. Um, they're a game changer for sure. I've got two pairs of them because one of them the blade got really dull on and I couldn't find a replacement blade. So I just bought another set of them. Eventually, I'll get a replacement blade so that I have them. I'll probably get two, so I have them for both of them. And I just sanded off the, the rough edges from where I cut it because it splintered a little bit. And glued it in there. And I have, um, I have some little round wooden discs. And that's what I use for the top and the bottom. And they should have been the same size, but one was a little bit smaller than the other. So after I got it on there, I had to kind of sand, get in there and sand away the, the paper edges on the spool there. Now that I think about it though, I'm probably going to go in with my X-Acto knife and cut away the paper um, and then just stain the bottom of the, the um, wood disc. But you really can't tell that other than where I did the antique wax on around the bottom edges. Um, that kind of doesn't look, I don't know, it kind of looks funky, but you really can't tell that I had left the paper on there. Um, I just didn't know if I took it off how much room or how much surface I would have for gluing those wooden discs on. But now that I think about it, and I didn't think about it when I was doing it, I could have taken my X-Acto knife and cut the paper away, which I can go back and do. So I just used um, some of the Waverly Antique Wax to stain this. Uh, I just kept dipping my, my paintbrush in water before so that we kind of water it down a little bit and just stained all around it. And I may go back in and, and put a ribbon around the middle on a bow on there. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Sometimes when it comes to risers and stuff like that, you want to keep them kind of neutral. So anyway, we're on to the final reveal. And here is showing Brenda's project and mine. Here's the wall hanging with the gift bag. And the little riser, and I put I have like a little camper thing that I put on top of there. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the playlist. Have a good day.